What's up, it's Jim from Technovault and after this video you will know everything you have to know to make Melodic Techno stabs 100% from scratch. And I've taken these from our Melodic Techno preset packs, which you can get on our website, thousands of presets, blah, 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 blah. Make sure to join our Discord server. It's just launched. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna use Serum. We're going to use a FM synthesis and that's basically what it all comes down to and everything else is bonus. So let's start with a saw wave and then let's start with oscillator B. And we're going to use any of these spectral wave shapes. As you can see, and we're going to use any of these spectral wave tables. They have a lot of overtones and for example, this one is great. The thin, thick one. So you want to turn this on for now and we're only going to use oscillator A. To make it cleaner, I'm going to take down the randomization so every step sounds the same each time. So it's placed the face at the same moment. And then I also want to enable a filter. So to make it sound a little bit more analog, I'm going to use the MG Low series or the German Low Pass or the French Low Pass. Let's use German LP for now. Make sure everything goes in. A little bit of resonance, not too much. And then I kind of like to use envelopes instead of LFOs on envelopes, just because it's a little bit easier to control the A, D, SR. So in this case, let's add a little bit of release. Also on envelope one, we add some release because this is the volume envelope. And as you can hear, it makes the volume longer. Then we have envelope two, which is going to control the cutoff. So just make something like this and just make sure it's not too, not too tight and not too loose. So something like this, you know. Basically just take FM from B on oscillator A. And you can hear you already have that sound going on. Now we can go back in envelope two, maybe change the resonance, add some drive. It's so easy to get this sound. The next thing I always do to get this to the next level is use some analog waveforms. So for example, this one. And just play around. I think this one is really cool. I just want to have a little bit of movement. So I'm going to add LFO one to the wavetable position here. Make it slower. And then I also want to have a little bit of movement on the FM. Like it's like almost nothing. It's almost unnoticeable, but it adds a little bit of movement. So then to take this to the next level, I'm going to add an EQ just to clean it up a little bit. Then I'm also going to add a compressor, but not a multiband, just on the normal mode. I really like to have a low threshold because it makes it very snappy. And especially if you add now add delay and reverb in front of the compressor, it's really going to get that ducking reverb and delay effect. Make sure it's on ping pong and I like to use like 1412 or 1418. And I really like to have a lot of feedback, like a wide mix, just to make it look more wet and more in your face. Then I add reverb on the normal uh, hall mode, 50%, 50%. Make sure I cut the lows and the highs slightly. And I always add the reverb after the delay because I want the delay to be reverbed as well. You know, you can obviously add some macros. So for example, we can add a macro to the wavetable. We can add the macro to the FM right here. So we can have different FM tones. Then we can have one going to the cutoff as well. So we can also change the cutoff. Let's add some distortion in here. And some gain. And as you can hear, you can now go in different directions. So if you add a lot of tube distortion, you get a very blown up sound and you could also use something like tape saturation instead to kind of get that gritty analog high end. So I think tape saturation is one of the best ones you can get. Let's clean up this a bit, low cut. To now spice this up, you can add a noise oscillator. One thing you can use it for is to increase the click. So you can use a kick attack, put it on one shot. You're going to add this noise right here, right? So. As you can hear, it improves the click. And this is actually really, really nice to have. You just need to make sure it doesn't go to the cutoff right here. Otherwise you lose the highs and this is obviously a very high transient type thing. So you don't want to cut the highs of this. But what you can also do is something like a air can and just add a little bit of attack like this. And then maybe do get it through the filter. 
There you go. You can now make a lot of variations. So for example, we have this one, right? But I can also change the waveform. Just try to find something that's like this. And then we're gonna change this one. We get a very nice, maybe we change this. We can make another one, you know? It's so easy to now spam these until you find something that works well in your context. I'm gonna change the filter. And we're gonna change the amount. And yeah, let's make a very aggressive one right here and change this. We're gonna use the normal white noise. And then you can also use this trick and that is basically FMing from the noise oscillator. So you can FM A on B and B gets FM'd by the sub. So if you use something like a sine wave and take it down to octaves, you kind of get double FM. And that's a really, really cool trick. You see this being used uh, in sine FM basses for drum and bass a lot, but you can also do it here and... So in this case, you can also control this and have another FM too and see what happens if you take different waveforms. Not that good. Let's see. Maybe a digital one. Really, really nice. And we can also do another one and just add some, maybe detune. Move it here. Take down the randomization. And maybe take down the width. So we do get the unison. Take a different waveform. So one final thing you can do is now take it into the mixer and there are some things that you can add to just make it pop a little bit more. It's a very clean one. I like this one. It's very clean, warm and not too overdone. Maybe make sure that this envelope better. Okay. One thing that you can do now is add OTT to make it even more clear. Take down the volume so you have some headroom at an inflator or a wave shaper, it doesn't really matter as long as you don't have it go over 0 dB. You can clean it up with an EQ, obviously. Maybe add some highs. One of my all-time favorite plugins is CLA-2A. So I'm gonna add this analog compressor. Add some gain. I'm gonna make sure that it stops playing with the envelope here. Cool. You can add a soft clipper finally to, you know, have it clip slightly if you want to. Maybe one more EQ to get this down. And then finally, you can add a transient shaper. Put it on a pretty fast speed. Just put it in front of everything and just add some attack. If you want to have a more present transient. So that's basically everything about these steps. It's just FM synthesis and using a very, you know, overtony type of wave table. Just make it analog, just improve it a little bit, make it wet, make it slap harder. That's it. You can grab this for free on our website, including some uh, extra presets. I'll throw in some extra presets for free. Join our Discord server. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Cheers.